18 years after widespread ecocide caused by human activity, in 2027, utter infertility, war, and a worldwide depression pose a threat to the collapse of human civilizations. One of the few countries still having a working government is the United Kingdom, which has devolved into a police state where immigrants are detained and either put in jail or killed. Theo Farron, a former activist who is now a jaded bureaucrat, is abducted by the Fishes, a militant group advocating for immigrant rights that is run by Julian Taylor, Theo's estranged wife. The two split after their son passed away during the 2008 flu epidemic. Julian gives Theo money so that he can get transit documents for Key, a young immigrant woman. Theo agrees to accompany Key in exchange for a bigger payment after receiving the necessary paperwork from his cousin, a government minister. A former nurse Miriam, Theo, Key, Julian, and Fish's commander Luke are driven towards Canterbury by an armed gang, who attack them and murder Julian. Later, as two policemen halt their car, Luke shoots both of them. The group then hides Julian's body before making their way to a safe house. Key becomes the only known pregnant woman in the world when she tells Theo that she is carrying a child. Julian had planned to send her to the Human Project, an Azorian scientific research organization devoted to the non-existent, according to Theo, problem of infertility in humans. Luke takes over as the fish's new leader. Theo overhears a conversation that evening and discovers that the fishes plan Julian's killing so that Luke could take over as their leader. They also plan to kill Luke and utilize Key's unborn child as a political tool. He and Miriam are awakened by Theo, and they make their way to the private retreat of Theo's old hippie buddy Jasper Palmer, an aged reclusive political cartoonist whose wife was forced into catatonia by the British government due to her activism. The party intends to travel to the Human Project ship tomorrow, which is expected to dock offshore at the infamous immigration detention facility of Bexhill. Jasper intends to smuggle them into Bexhill as refugees through Sid an immigration officer that Jasper sells cannabis to, so that they can take a rowing boat to meet up with the tomorrow. When the fishes find Jasper's residence the following day, they are forced to leave. Jasper lingers behind to delay them, and while Theo looks on, Luke kills him. Sid meets Theo, Key, and Miriam and assists them in boarding a bus to the camp. Miriam pretends to be a religious fanatic in order to divert a guard when Key starts having contractions, and she is then taken away. Key gives birth to a baby girl in a chamber provided by Marichka, a Romani woman that Theo and Key encounter inside the camp. The following day, Sid informs Theo and Key that there is a conflict going on between the refugees and the British military, and that the fishes have infiltrated the camp. He also explains that Theo and Key are wanted, and that he is trying to apprehend them. With Marichka's assistance, Theo subdues Sid. They manage to flee, but the fishes ambush them and take Key and the infant hostage. Theo follows them to an apartment complex that is heavily targeted by gunfire. Theo approaches Luke, who perishes in an explosion, and helps Key and the infant escape. The British troops and fishes are so taken aback by the baby that they put an end to their conflict and let the three of them go. They head toward the boat, with Marichka leading the way, but she stays behind. In dense fog, Theo and Key row to their rendezvous place while British fighter jets bomb Bexhill. Theo informs Key that he was shot and hurt by Luke earlier. She tells him that she would name the baby daughter Dylan in honor of Theo and Julian's late son. With a feeble smile, Theo nods off as the tomorrow draws near. Little ones laugh when the screen fades to black.